What up? This is Robert Ory. Or three pointer. You might know me as Big Shot Bob. To Ory for three. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, this guy is off the charts. What's going on, Big Shot Bob? Robert Ory from downtown. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a bonus show. Uh, 64, episode 64 of the shoot around. It is Big Shot Bob. That is seven time NBA champion and dance fanatic. <laughs> Robert Ory. Shaman on camera. Uh, B Dog right. Brandon Harper from uh, the home studio in Atlanta, Georgia, and from uh, Truist Park, home of the Braves. Uh, I'm Rob. You know, I think this is the first time, you know, we just celebrated my wife's birthday this past Happy weekend. birthday, Candace. Yeah. And yeah, this is the first time we didn't dance. You know, we usually dance for either my birthday or her birthday. We didn't dance this year, you, even though like, I can't dance. What do you, what I like you mean? Dance? Like go out dancing? Like, like Well, we usually have like a party or something we oh, have. Okay. And we usually do a little dancing just for the fun of it. But we didn't okay. even dance. We just, we just, you know, just had a little nice little dinner. I think the best thing I ever did was this this birthday for her. I um, We used to go out to dinner. Sure. Me, her family, and a couple of people. This year, I decided to do like a, a surprise oh, birthday you, dinner here at the you house. You told us this. You hired a chef yeah. or something, didn't you? I had a chef. And it was cheaper. Dude. <laughs> and better than going to a fucking restaurant. And you're home. <laughs> yes. And you're home. And it's like mm-hmm. when, it, when we've had enough drinks and everybody's full and it's you know time to do all the other stuff that comes with birthdays, everybody yeah. can just leave. Just get the fuck yeah. out. <laughs> just be gone, people. All right. Good for yeah, you, so man. Good. good for you. Yeah, it was better. I think that's, um, I'm, that's for me from now on. We ain't going to a private chef. Dude, Come to the house. oh man, <laughs> send one my way. That sounds like a Cheaper. win for me. I don't mm-hmm. like. I don't like going out anymore. I'm old. I'm just like if I could do it at home. I'm. I'm just. Let's stay home. I'll just cook. It's fine. I don't need to go to dinner. Uh, we do have a lot of questions in the shoot around. If you ever have one, we're at Big Shot Bob Pod uh, all over the place. Twitter, Instagram. A lot of people sent us stuff on Twitter this week, so thank you for that. Um, question came in from Danny Rob, and I saw this too. Uh, I saw Rudy Gobert taking MMA classes with pro trainers. Is he trying to toughen up? Uh, Rob, seriously, how is this guy getting Defensive Player of the Year trophies? And yet everyone seems to think he's a liability. <laughs> hey, so I guess he's training with MMA guys. You know, you know the, the crazy part is a lot of players train with MMA guys. You just do that to, like, get ready for the upcoming season. Because you think about it, if you do something for so long – you just don't want to lift weights all the time. You just don't want to. You, you switch it up. Is that you know, really what it is? Just sort of an alternative to, to being in the yeah. Because I used to do. I used to do. My trainer was an MMA guy, and I used to do MMA, MMA, MMA stuff. But you know, it's just fun to do. It's fun to do something different. You know, as long as you. Don't, I told him, as long as you don't hit me in the face, we're we're good. <laughs> so we just, we had fun doing it. But um, I think with the defensive player of the year, I think the NBA really needs to sit down. And, and find out who's voting on this, you know, because a lot of people who are voting are basketball players, uh, are basketball aficionados, just so to say. They need to really say, hey, come on, man. You know, just because you block a lot of shots, does that really mean you're a defensive player? Because he's a liability everywhere else except when you go to the paint. He'll block a shot every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. See, here's the thing about Gobert. Um, it's one thing for you to get benched while you're in the league. It's another thing for you to get benched in international play. Bro, you're getting benched everywhere because of the matchup. That's a problem. And at what's been given up for you and how much you're getting paid, that is a problem. Well, and I thought you were going to say postseason. Because that's, that that's, well, that's, that's always the kid. I mean, like, Whatever we pay you for during the regular season is fine. I, I'm always a, of the belief that you get paid for that. You get paid for mm-hmm. the playoffs. You get paid for – you are Big Shot Bob. You get paid for when it counts. You bad, damn well better be available to hit that big shot. You better get down there and block some shots. You better put or some people – you will people. be released. <laughs> yes, yes. But, I mean, like, Rob, you you made your career by being the guy – who was there when it mattered the most, who hit the shot when it mattered the most. And he's a guy that is, I mean, not only is he a liability, they don't even want him on the floor when it matters the most. They're like, okay, you go stand over there. We're going to try and win this game without you. You can't pay that guy. You can't throw trophies at him. Because it's like, dude, I don't know, man. 
And uh, you know, and I think Minnesota sits back now and like that one play with Luca up top, they're like, What the fuck were we thinking? You know, so it, it is what it is. It is, it is. <laughs> I mean, look, hopefully he toughens up and I don't know, figures it out. Uh, the Bulls and Zach Levine, according to a lot of insiders, are trying to mend their relationship. I think this is largely because the Bulls cannot trade him. <laughs> so mm-hmm. they're like, yeah, okay, we're going to try and uh, clean up our relationship. Uh, Billy Donovan met with them last week in L.A., or over the summer, I should say, in L.A., um, talking about some of their differences and stuff. They still owe him $138 million for three seasons. Obviously, mm-hmm. they need him to be a contributor. What's that relationship like, though? coming back knowing your team was actively trying with every fiber of their being to get rid of you. And now you have to come back and you got to play for him. I think if he's a true professional, um, he should understand that's the nature of the beast. Hell, I got traded and had to come back. You know, think about that. I was literally in another city, putting on another uniform, giving a walk on the court, but the trade fell through. And guys nowadays, I think they need to take their feelings out of it. Because it's just the nature of the beast. It's the business part of it. You wanted to be traded, and so they wanted to trade you, but nobody wants you. So that means you know what you got to do? You got to, you know, buck up. You got to go out there and play as hard as you can to make somebody want you. And that's what you got to say. If you want out of Chicago, you go out there and you play your ass off and make people start salivating on you. Oh, we got to have him on our team because his whole attitude has changed, and he's the next one. So that's all he got to do. He can't get mad about it. You want to be there, play your ass off, and then someone will want you, and then you're out of there. I was trying to look at how old yeah. he is. He's 30. And he's 29. He's young. 29. He's 29. All right. So he's not – He's. I don't know. Could you call a 29-year-old a veteran guy? Yeah. I guess how long have you been in the league? He's a veteran, yeah. I mean, God, what, this would be yeah. seven years, I think? Maybe eight. Yeah, they say you, you, that's when you hit your peak, 28, 29, 30. Okay. So, think he's about got, him so he's is, got the good tread left on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but the thing about him is that he's injured so much. Yeah. And the cost and what he's getting paid and his lack of availability turns him off to a lot of teams. Like, right. yeah. okay, you're getting paid 40 plus million, but you're going to be hurt every year. Well, that's, so why would I give up assets? To Rob's note, that's the show me. You know what I mean? Get out there this season and stay healthy. Find a way to stay healthy. And find a way to contribute. Find a way to be a difference maker. Uh, watch, watch how. By the way, how fast fans will re-embrace you in any city, when all of a sudden you start showing up, making a difference, and scoring some points. Man, people just wrap their arms right back around you and forget all. Did we fight? I didn't remember that. That's old. That shit. Why bring up old shit? Let's, yeah. let's love each other now. <laughs> so get back out there That's and uh, yeah, and do that. Why bring up old shit? Why bring up old shit? My wife and I say that to each other all the time. Uh, Friday, one of our all-time favorite movies. Mm-hmm. Tons of games, tons of players, tons of props. You just go online, you sign up for DraftKings Pick 6. Uh, it's the newest way to compete against people in fantasy football. You win straight cash. You do exactly what we just did. You pick a player. You choose if they're going to have more or less than the stat. And uh, if you win, you get cash. Straight cash, homie. Straight Download cash. the new DraftKings Pick 6 app now and use code BIGSHOTBOB. That's code Big Shot Bob for new customers to play Five dollars. That's all. Five dollars and get fifty dollars in pick six credits, guaranteed. Plus one month of NFL Plus premium on us. Offer expires nine nineteen. Only on DraftKings pick six. The crown is yours. Give that man a crown. <laughs> gambling problem? Call one eight hundred Gambler. Help is available for problem gambling. Call one 7777 or visit ccpg.org in Connecticut. Must be eighteen plus. Age and eligibility restrictions vary by jurisdiction. Pick six not available everywhere, including New York and Ontario. Void were prohibited. See terms at pick six slash promos. One per new customer. Reward issue as fifty dollars in non withdrawable pick six credits that expire in six months. NFL Plus Premium offer available only to new and former NFL Plus subscribers. Additional NFL Plus Premium terms at NFL.com slash terms. Uh, Steve Mariucci is nasty, Rob. This question came in from Rich. The man has a cast from when he was four years old. Uh, the, so this was the story for reference. He was on uh, NFL Network, and he was talking about um, Joe Burrow's wrist injury. And Steve Mariucci, 64-year-old Steve Mariucci, goes, well, I broke my wrist when I was four, and here's the cast to prove it. This dude kept his cast for the last 60 years. So uh, Rich's question was, what's the weirdest or oldest thing you have from when you were a kid? 
Oh, oh boy! Oh, there's something good coming. Here we go. Uh, you know, I have that 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 box that every kid has. It ain't it. It ain't a um, Candyland box, but oh, the it's a Monopoly box. box. <laughs> you still have the Monopoly box? Uh, it's at my mom's house oh, in my no. room hidden. It's it's a mine's Candyland though. It wasn't Monopoly. It's a Candyland box with my old dirty magazines okay, in it. Okay, wait, hold on, my, hold on, hold on, hold on. some of my press clippings. Hold <laughs> on, hold on. Are the magazines still in the No, box? they don't stick together. <laughs> no, I didn't say they stick together, you sick ass. That's not what I said. Are they still in the box? Like, if you were to open the Candyland box at your mom's house, are the dirty magazines still in the box? One of them is. Oh, no. Yeah. You have left a time bomb somewhere for someone <laughs> to think that, like, there's going to be a niece or a nephew over, and they're going to be like, let's play Candyland. <laughs> Grandma, no, it's, what's it's, huge it's, chugs? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually not under my bed. I actually, you know, it's hidden in the garage somewhere. So I'm Okay, there, so. good. Thank God. Yeah, but it, I, I, I was going to go in with the bed. purest of intents and find a copy. Which is, of that's where it all started out under your bed, but then my mom. I can't believe you still have it's the kinda, box, though. Oh, no, man. it's hidden under my press clippers because I kept all my little press clippings from me in high school, and so it's kind of it's at the bottom it's of that. So I don't think there? my mom, unless my mom went through it and just like this motherfucker here, <laughs> but no, <laughs> she she, she put I, the box, she kept the box, so I put it up. Can I ask you an honest question? Ago. You can so mm -hmm. you have at least one magazine in there. You think, right? Mm -hmm. Was there a reason you kept it? Like, was there just something about that where whoever was in that magazine that at the I right know. time in your life was like, it I was could this, marry this woman? It was this really beautiful black woman in there that I thought just had the banging body. Mm. And I just was so in love with her. I don't remember her name, but it was just like, you know, you know, it was you just know, the I didn't one that stuck. Yeah, no, I got yeah, it. Yeah, it's just like her skin looked flawless and everything was just. She, <laughs> in was, the your right place. <laughs> <laughs> she was your first. She was your first. I get it. Yeah. I get it. <sighs> Harp, what's the weirdest uh, thing you may have from your childhood? Do you have anything weird from your childhood? Or just unusual stuff that you kept when you were a kid? Um, I mean, probably just. I don't know why I still have some. I mean, I still have, may have some old clothes. Like, uh, like when I was a kid. So on Christmas, me and my brother used to wear like onesies, and we used to wear like matching onesies. And I know I was, you know, going through some clothes one day, and I found them. And oh. I'm like, I'm holding these onesies up. I'm like, who the hell onesies are these? See, like, I still oh, these mine. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I can't even. I can't even put a leg in one of them things. I'm sorry. I, oh. I was surprised to find it, but that's about it. I don't have any other, like, anything else I can remember from childhood. I really don't. I am 100% getting us matching onesies for Christmas. <laughs> 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 we all get some matching onesies that just say no state tax. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be like, what the hell are you wearing? I'd be like, if you knew, if you only knew. Uh, hey, yeah, I still trademark got, that. <laughs> no state tax. Yeah. Uh, I still, I still have, uh, and there is sitting in my office actually. I, I for some reason my mom, and I guess it makes sense. She kept like a, a little teddy bear from when I was like a like a real little kid, and it's it's. She sent it to me a few years back. She's like, I found this in the attic. If you want it, otherwise I'm gonna throw it out. I was like, send it. So it's uh, yeah, yeah it's uh, it's sitting it's sitting in the office uh, on the shelf yeah. in my office at home. Uh, just a, just weird though. For to have my wife will still make fun of me. You got your teddy bear. So here's the question: Do y'all like like my mom still have like my my ba my my little league my Babe Ruth? Oh, I was gonna ask you all my baseball too. trophies still displayed. I'm like mom displayed. Oh no <laughs> yeah. no no! We still have like our boys stuff, but it's in like a box up in the attic. Uh, she still has it. Like I have a I have a high school section, I have a college section, and I have an NBA section in their house. So it's just like. And every night and I come back in there with one of the grandbabies be to move me, be something be put in front of mine. So I'm like, it's time to move the old out and put in the new. So yeah, she, it's, it's kind of cool how she has it though. I was like, mom, who, you know, got NBA, college, high school. Mm. She, she need a, she need a lot of space. <laughs> um, do you still have uh, your letter jersey or your, uh, your, your high school letter jacket? Did you ever get one of those? 
We didn't, man. We couldn't afford no shit like that. You didn't play. Well, you played. I imagine you played varsity basketball. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we couldn't afford it. We didn't. Nobody on the team could afford it, so we oh, didn't get one. Oh, no, you didn't get them. Oh wow. Oh mm -mm. no. Like I, 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 we could have. Me, I could afford one, but I think for the most part, we didn't want to waste the money on it. So okay. I think a few of us bought jackets and made them into Letterman jackets. Kind of, you know, had someone, we found someone that could put like a number on it and a couple, mm. but it wasn't a true, you know, with the red and the white sleeves. Yeah, it wasn't the, a true the, yeah. Letterman jacket. It was no. just like a. You got uh, like a members only and a Sharpie. We're like. We couldn't, uh, even, hey. we couldn't even afford members <laughs> only, man. No, it was less than that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I gotcha. Um, question from Chris. How much longer until Dion gets shown the door at Colorado? Um, you know what? I, I think he's going to have to. Uh, he's going to be there the three to four more seasons because I still you think, think he's bringing, that long. He's still bringing a lot of money into that organization because people are saying we got to give him time. You know, he's only been at, it's, think, it's his second year about trying getting rid of him. Because think about it. Who had when have we ever talked about Colorado since? Um, what they got five at, downs to score at, touchdown? Is it ever? <laughs> Let's go with ever. So they're going to give him three to four. Like, watch, they're going to give him three to four more years. Yeah, they'll give him three to four. Prime ain't staying there no three to four more years. <laughs> yeah, Prime. I look, guess, yeah, so I guess that's the question: Who pulls the trigger first, right? Him or them? Prime. Look, I'm gonna put it to you like this here. His son is gonna be a top ten pick. Travis Hunter, who he says is his other son, be a top five, top ten pick, easy. Uh, his son Shiloh will be drafted as well. Who knows where? Obviously, he's out for a while now because he broke his forearm in that game. Um, but uh, once they're gone, here's the thing. Prime, does his brand, as much as he's done for that program, he's done more for that program than that program has seen since Cordell Stewart was their quarterback. Um, his brand cannot pull them out of what they've lacked for so long. His brand cannot build the, the depth and the talent that that program needs to be able to compete. I'm going to tell you what. Uh, Mike Norvell at Florida State, I was just and the way they look at right thing. now. Yeah, you got to bounce hey, Mike Norvell. But Mike Norvell's got like eight years left on his deal or some shit. Maybe so. How are you going to pay Prime and then bounce and pay Norvell? I don't think they can do I that. don't care. Look, universities have millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Boosters donate millions of dollars. We've seen them buy coaches out and hire another coach and pay them. Hell, Colorado had a hard time paying Coach Prime. They had to find the money to get to pay him. I think, you think Florida State? I think Florida State's still paying Jimbo Fisher. I think they owe Jimbo money. I think they owe Mike Norvell money. I don't think they're going to have enough money to pay. Because you well, know Prime's going to come in and ask them for stupid money. Like, you think what they're well, paying Norvell is stupid? Wait till you see what, they, what Dion wants. Yeah, but I also think that after, after a while, Florida State fans have a level of expectation, especially coming into this season, being ranked in the top ten. You lost to Georgia, uh, Georgia Tech across the pond. <laughs> you lost and to then Boston you come back College. home oh. and lose to Boston College. Your quarterback, DJ, you can't count to ten. No. He don't know what he's doing. This is his third stop at a low at a, at, a, at a college. He's about twenty seven years old. I don't understand how I don't know how much longer they're going to want to sit through this. Before you start hearing the rumblings, no, no, they're, they're probably do. already there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, I think don't. Prime needs to put his he needs to take his brand and that big brand of Florida State and put it together, and he'll be able to recruit like hell. Just believe me when I say that. Okay, is he going to want to recruit though? That is the question. That's, that's he's in college. He has to. No, he does. He doesn't do it now. He barely does it now. Oh, he's going to have to recruit if you're going to go to a bigger uh, program like Florida State. Uh, he's and, going and to I have think to recruit just, if you're going to stay in college football. You're going to have to recruit. You Sorry. have to. It's just so different than the NFL. But And that's the thing, too. I think Dion just leans on the brand of Dion Sanders way too much. And it's like, it's fine. But eventually, unless you start recruiting and winning some games and showing that that brand has a little bit more value, I don't, I don't know. Maybe. It's not going to work at Colorado. He doesn't. No. It, it's not enough. No, 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 no. It's not I, enough. I think that's a short-lived story. I think maybe you get the rest of the season at Colorado. And then either one of them is going to part ways. By the end of this year. Uh, all right, last thing, and we'll wrap up the shoot around. By the way, if you ever have a question or a topic or a story you see, you want to kick it to us. Uh, like I said, we're at Big Shot Bob Pod all over the place. Uh, would you try the new Thomas's Fruit Loop Mini Bagels? 
Yes, these are actual bagels that are speckled with Fruit Loops uh, baked into them. So they look and eat like a traditional bagel, except it's got a little bit of uh, cereal in each bite. That sounds like a cavity waiting to happen. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just too sweet. I just couldn't do it. That's not that sweet. And uh, the only thing that I could put sweet on my bagel is honey. I just I, I can't do that. I can't do honey it. on no. a bagel. I'm not even. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, that sounds like something that like a, like a five year old came up with. <laughs> like, like, I'm going to mash some Fruit Loops onto my bagel. Uh, what's the weirdest, uh, strangest or most messed up thing you like to eat as a kid or, or for that matter, as an adult? Because I've got one that makes people just, oh. You go first. Okay. Yeah. When I was a little kid, and my dad started me on this, God rest his soul. I don't know how or why. Putting ketchup on scrambled eggs. And I, when I first saw him do it, I was like a little kid. And I was like, I don't know. That's pretty nasty. And then I tried it. And it's good as hell. (laughs) But people... Freak when you say, "Oh yeah, ketchup on your scrambled eggs." They don't know. Oh God, no! People's stomachs turn. Oh, uh, my wife does that, so that's no. She beef. puts ketchup on her scrambled eggs. Mm-hmm. Ever yeah, since I've I was a little kid, man, I don't know why. It just, it's, it's freaking good. Yeah, I don't do ketchup. I do hot sauce. Hot sauce on your eggs? I've I've seen a lot yeah. of people do that. Yeah. Yeah, I do hot sauce on eggs. Okay. Is there something strange you eat that people are like, "Ooh"? I'll tell you what, honey yeah. on a bagel, man, that doesn't sound too appealing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, I, I, I like I love I love honey though, so it's, I put honey on my spaghetti. So you put honey yeah. on your spaghetti that that might yeah. be a good one. That yeah, because it, it's yeah. I'm just I only I only did that when I played because the honey gives you energy, and so that's the only time I do it. But I don't really do anything, you know. Um, I don't have any weird things. I don't think um, outside of that, you know. I, um, I, I here's a funny story. I got mad at my mom about something though, because in the south. You know, it's a lot of people put salt on a watermelon. And so I don't. my mom put salt on a watermelon. So my my middle son, Cameron, comes home one time. He gets watermelon. And he goes get the salt and starts putting it on his wall. I'm like, son of a bitch. Lila Ori, why'd you teach my son how to put salt on his watermelon? You know, I'm not trying to do have high I've blood pressure never, around this joint, man. No. I've <laughs> never seen that. I've never yeah, seen so. that before. So the other southern thing that people to do is they take a Sprite and put the peanuts in the Sprite and drink it and eat the peanuts out of the Sprite. It might be a Sprite, a Pepsi, a Coke, but that's I can't like believe regular you three peanuts are in the or like boiled peanuts. No, just regular uh, salted planters, whatever type oh, of peanuts. Oh God, in there. no! See, y'all in the south, y'all never seen anyone no, do that? No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. No. Uh, nah. Oh, I'll... this is oh I know what I do. Okay. This is what I, I I haven't done this in a while. Every Christmas back in the day, we used to get those big crates of oranges. And so now I take an orange, I you know how you mush it up and then you cut a hole in the top. Then I take a piece of peppermint and oh. stick it. For a minute I didn't know where orange. that was going. I didn't know what you were sticking in the orange for a minute. <laughs> I stick the peppermint inside the orange. So when you like you know, you go to Disney World, they give you the orange, they give you that little thing that you stick on top and you can like have the orange and you drink the juice out of orange. I'm being very oh, yeah. careful with my words here because B is looking at me crazy. I, right so I take the pin, the the, pin, uh, the peppermint and stick it and do the same thing. So, so the peppermint gets, is the straw. No, the peppermint is inside of the orange. So oh. when you drink the orange, you get like an orange get, peppermint. Correct. Oh, yeah. not, orange uh, and uh, peppermint uh, together doesn't sound like it would mesh well just try it one time man. just try no it. that sound like caution tape on the bathroom waiting to happen yeah man <laughs> no it's not just try it. <laughs> or a fight with my wife why are you squishing up that orange no reason don't come in <laughs> <laughs> just say hey, hey there's what's that what's that, that movie where he was make love to uh apple pie oh american, american pie, pie. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no if my wife walks in the kitchen and finds me with my dick in a pie there's gonna be problems <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> there's gonna be problems yeah y'all the that, orange that's... she might let slide but not the pie <laughs> not the pie hey, that's a little nah i'm good on that like i said some of my weirds i don't know if it's weird like i'm a big hot sauce person um not necessarily for the heat i'm a i'm a texas pete Okay. You know, I do Texas mm-hmm. Pete or Louisiana. So are you but one of these Texas... people that hot sauce is way too much stuff? Um, I'll put like hot Texas sauce Pete. on, I'll put it on spaghetti. Collard greens. Uh, 
Oh, absolutely. I put it on collard greens. Uh, I'll put it on. Yeah, I put it on nachos. If I nachos, if I have I some. Get. Yeah, nachos. I get. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, so it's not something that's really real. I don't do. You don't over overdo weird. it because there's yeah, a, I know uh, a lot of people oh. that overdo it with the hot sauce. Do you put your hot sits hot sauce on your skins? Or do you eat skins? I don't like skins. Okay. Like like, like that. I don't like but skins. people at home. Oh, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs>